So, I was in Tokyo for the last few days. Uh, well, I was in Tokyo recently. It, was, it is uh, Saturday today and I came back on Thursday morning, uh, leaving Tokyo on Wednesday night and I was there since Friday evening. It was a intense trip, a hot trip, because it was like 30, over 30 degrees and sunny all the, all every day. I burned my arms a little bit because of I didn't get um, sunblock the first day. Um, it was a very social trip as I met my met people every day except for the last one. On this trip I met four of my Japanese friends and all of these friends I've met uh, through Couchsurfing, uh, which is a recommend the site if you're ever traveling or if you have a spare couch, bedroom, whatever in your house to uh, welcome travel, traveler, travelers from foreign countries to talk, exchange ideas, language, uh, fluids, whatever you're into. No, it's not a sex site. <laughs> two of these four uh, came to visit me in Sweden, and two of these four I met when I was here in Japan in 2014. One showed me around in Tokyo, and one showed me around in Kyoto. And I couch surfed at the place of the first guy who showed me around Tokyo, specifically Akihabara at the time. And I was there for three nights, and uh, we went um, went to Akihabara. It was, you know, like I remember it. We went to see the Japanese uh, movie Mambiki no Kazuku, which is uh, won the Golden Palm Award in Cannes very recently, and I understood about half of it. But to my defense, they were also mumbling quite a bit, and there actually was a scene where one, a guy was brushing his teeth while talking, and there was a really old woman who was, in general, hard to understand. But at least I, you know, I got what was happening at least. Um, then we went to a sexy dance show. We went to this place, Tokyo Burlesque, which, is, which as you can see I got a free fan out of. Um, it was quite something. Not naked, but... <laughs> I met my two friends that uh, came to visit me in Sweden, Natsuko and the Yuki, and we went to Shibuya and had dinner, and that was fun. And then uh, on the Monday I met Homa-san, which uh, he showed me around Kyoto, and he lived in Kyoto for my, the first month I was here, then he moved to Yokohama, the bastard. When we met, I spoke Japanese for the whole time, which was uh, felt nice. And on the Tuesday I met Gabriel, which was a classmate of mine for two for half a year here in Kyoto before he got a job, the bastard, in Tokyo. So now he lives in Tokyo. So I met him there, had dinner and was social and everything. Then on Wednesday, the day I went home, I went to Ikibukuro and put my stuff in the locker and then I uh, went all around Tokyo pretty much doing random, doing all sorts of stuff, which in general I'm going to summarize. Now, I went to four video game companies. I've already been to, I don't know, six or something. T this time I went to Atlas in Sangenjaya. I went to IREM in Kanda, which is actually very close to Nintendo's HAL laboratory. Spike Chunsoft in Akasaka. Uh, although I misplaced the location, I first thought it was going to be in around Tokyo Tower, which I went to another day actually. Um, but then it turned out, be, to be, turned out to be in Akasaka, and I had to walk some more, so I walked a lot that day. And I went to Koei Tecmo, which was in Kawasaki. And Koei Tecmo had three buildings for some reason. Um, yeah, one of them look, kind of looked like an embassy, one looked like your standard office, and one just looked like, I don't know, a movie theater or something. It was a big white building that just had the Koei Tecmo logo on it. I don't know if it, that was... if they had a floor there, if they had the whole building, I don't, I don't know, but... Uh, the, 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 the Koei Tecmo, by the way, were the only ones that were big enough to have a sign on the building. Um, Atlas and Irem and Shansoft all just had a floor. I think I run out of companies, kind of. There was one that I had had in mind uh, to visit, which was Natsume, which I had come under the impression that they were in Shinjuku, but apparently they're in Osaka. So I will just have to do that when the next time I'm in Osaka. Then there were two companies that I would like to visit, but I can't because they don't exist anymore, Taito and Jalico. 
Uh, Jellico just died in 2014, and uh, Taito was bought up bought out by Square Enix. Oh, and Hudson Soft, but they were bought up by Konami. However, I do remember now that I did visit one more game company, which was Takaratomi. They had their office like two stations from the place where I stayed last time I was in, I was in Tokyo. They, I don't have a huge connection, connection to them either. Like Off the top of my head, what I can think of is that Tomi published the Mickey in Tokyo Disneyland game on Super Famicom. And Takara is one of those companies I, I've seen their name quite a bit on games, but I can't mention a specific game. Also, it's a little confusing because Takara means treasure, and there's also a company named Treasure, which, by the way, I haven't looked up yet. So, if they're in Tokyo, I'll get them on the next visit, which will be my last visit to Tokyo, because that it will be the last three days before I fly back to Sweden. I've already booked a trip, and it's going to happen, but, uh, yeah. Even though I don't drink alcohol, really, I've been, uh, all my visits here, I've been looking for Yamazaki. Uh, Yamazaki 12 years, to be specific, I guess, but... When the few times I have found it, like in Okinawa and in Tokyo, it's cost like 20,000 yen. It's way too expensive. Here in Kyoto, I was made aware of being like a small one like this for like 700 yen or something uh, existing. But then I passed up buying it twice. And both times when I went back, like the next day or a couple of days later, it was gone. And now I can't find it anymore. So it's like, yeah. But as I was walking around in, in Tokyo, I just went into a company to buy a sandwich and um, a Coke, my, my standard uh, breakfast thing. I saw this. Yamazaki whiskey. It's not uh, this really small bottle. It's not the big one. It's like a little. Do I really plan to drink it? I guess. Maybe mix it with Coca-Cola or something. I, as I said, I'm not much of a drinker. But why did I want to buy it then? Well, Yakuza. Bakamitai. I went to several book-offs uh, when I happened to be close to them. I didn't really go look for them. I, I went, did go to one hard-off because I had plenty of time anyway. I, did, I bought very, very little. I bought two things and I was might have, might I maybe should have bought a third thing. I, I saw a few things that were, that were interesting but I ended up didn't buying, not buying them because I didn't want to spend more money than I already did. And of course, as usual, I spent more money than I planned. But one thing I did buy was a manga, and this is, will be like the third time's the charm for me in manga, I guess. Um, first being, uh, well, except for the Mega Man one that I already have. I bought a Golgo 13 when I went, was going to uh, Okinawa, I went, and then I couldn't read it because it was too complicated. I bought a Super Mario manga going to Sapporo, which I could read, but it was not good at all. Uh, so this third time is something that looked very interesting. It's made by Osamu Tezuka. The, the guy be, behind Astro Boy and everything, the legend. But apparently it's about Hitler calling Adolf or something. Well, technically it's not really about Hitler. It's, uh, as far as I can glean right now, it's about three people named Adolf and their stories. And one of them is a Jew, so... And one of them is Hitler, I think. So I, I don't think it takes a pro-Hitler stance. But on the other hand, you don't know. I don't know, because, you know, Japan... They were bombed by America. They weren't really inconvenienced by the Nazis, so maybe they were friendly to them. I don't know. Second thing was Kamei Tachi no Yoru 2 for PlayStation 2. Uh, this was, you know, I really shouldn't be buying this because I'm not, I only collected the uh, sound novels for Super Famicom. I'm not going to get all the ones for PlayStation and uh, PlayStation 2 and everything. Uh, although there aren't really many post the PlayStation era. But the Kamei Tachi no Yoru got to be a series for some reason. But this was only 100 yen, so. Why not? Uh, the third game is 500 yen, so I skipped that one. There's also a fourth game, I think, and like a Shin Kamatachi no Yoru on PlayStation 3. And there's mobile versions, and there's, for some reason that got to be a big series. A few things I saw that I kind of wanted to buy, but I didn't. It, one was Persona, the first Persona on PlayStation. It was 250 yen. But it's like, am I really going to play that? And I had just been to Atlas, so it felt like fitting somehow. But if I play it, I think I'll probably try and download it. And one game that looked really, uh, speaking of interesting, it was one game that looked really interesting. Uh, it's not really a game, but it was uh, Cinema E Kaiwa Zombie. And Zombie is the Japanese title of uh, Dawn of the Dead. So it's a game, sort of, for PlayStation 1, where you can learn English by studying the script and the dialogue and stuff from of movies, like Dawn of the Dead. And I looked up uh, later, it's a series of six movies. Other movies include Boy's Life, uh, some movie called w Wuthering Heights. Uh, two more movies I can't remember right now. And then one movie in Japan called uh, Tengoku ni Ikinai Papa. 
like dad can't go to heaven or the dad that like, can't go to heaven and i i recognize the the actor dabney coleman and that movie is short time a movie i like i saw it kind of recently and i saw it like you know 20 years ago about a guy who thinks a cop who thinks he's um, going to die in like three months so he's going to kill himself at at the job to give his wife the life insurance so he just you know goes after the criminals like he doesn't give a shit but of course he's not really dying but you know it's a fun movie i actually uh, the zombie one it was a like two thousand yen so i just yeah, maybe it's rare but no I, I didn't buy it but the short time one is only 500 yen on, on yahoo auction so i might pick that up later just i uh, need to see what that is Even, of course i wanted to be the other way around you know, learning japanese but what a great idea why why doesn't that exist for japanese I did some tourist stuff, of course. I did finally went to the uh, Tokyo, Kokyo, the emperor's residence. Of course, I didn't actually go in because you had to either be there when he's having his birthday, or make like a reservation for a tour. And I didn't do that, so I just walked in the the garden, whatever, and looked at the uh, the gate with the moat and everything. And just around the corner from there was the uh, Tokyo Diet Building, the Parliament. Whatever I say the diet to Japanese people, even if it's called that all, all over the place, apparently it's not called that in, in Japan at all, because they don't. They just look at me like, huh, what are you talking about, diet? And of course the diet to me is like, it's two things. First it's the Japanese parliament building, and second it's the building where Majima drove in with uh, those lovely pink trucks to rescue Kiryu from the Black Monday, maybe? I don't know, it's uh, a, bunch, a bunch of guys in black suits. Uh, I think it was that. I think that was the diet anyway, because he was talking to the Japanese uh, like defense minister at the time. I haven't played Yakuza Three in a while, so I can't tell you with absolute certainty. And in Chioda, also where uh, before, just before I went to the emperor area, I stumbled upon Toho, uh, the uh, studio, of course, and they had the Godzilla statue. Roar! And everything. Like I'm not a huge Godzilla fan, but I have seen like six movies or so, and I thought some of them were pretty enjoyable. Especially the last one, Final Wars. That is a kick-ass movie. I went to the biggest tourist uh, destination that I can think of at the moment is Sensoji in Asakusa, just by the Sky Tree. I as far as I know, that's like the the place for tourists, like the, the red temple and everything. And, you know, to me it's not super amazing, but why not? I had time, time to kill. One thing that was kind of interesting, I went to Nishikasai, which was the place that I uh, lived in when I was in to uh, Tokyo the, uh, the first time, uh, in 2014. And so it was like a trip down memory lane there. I, I went back to the hotel I stayed at, at least the outside. I went to the store. Uh, where I found what, the, which I found just by walking around at that time, uh, where, where I bought Super Donkey Kong and uh, Mickey Tokyo Disneyland for only 100 yen. So I went back there, and I bought one game. I bought the uh, Pinobi and uh, Pino Tree or whatever his. Uh, it's Pinobi and Phoebe, and I had. I have the sequel uh, from before. I actually didn't. I didn't look for these in. It just happened. So happened that I had that I got them in box, uh, but they're decent platformers a bit, robotic, uh, I think, I don't know if they're robotic or not, but like bees going around, you know, they're decent platformers anyway, they're only 500 yen, I think both both of them were, uh, published by Hudson and developed by Artoon, which also made uh, Yoshi's Island DS, if I'm not mistaken, probably some other stuff for Nintendo, but I didn't really feel they were big enough to uh, try and look up, but still. Also when I was there I walked around a bit and then I went, I found, well not found, but I went to the river, the Ara River. I wanted to, I want to say Arakawa River because it says Arakawa on the map and everything, but Kawa means river, so if I said that it would be Arakawa, uh, Ara River River, so it's the Ara River, uh, or just the Arakawa, uh, that would, could be okay I guess. And even though the sun wasn't down at that time, still nice to be by some kind of nature, sort of, in Tokyo, because Tokyo is just a huge, it's just a city everywhere. And then I came back to Kyoto, and I was greeted with rain, and rain, and rain, and rain, and rain, and rain, and there's flooding here now. So, like, two weeks ago or something, when school ended, there was a big earthquake, and I missed one day of school, and now I come back to 
the first day of school is on Friday for some reason. So I went there, but because of the heavy rain, the um, the trains had stopped in some parts. So school was off again. So got a little extension on my vacation there. And um, it's been raining ever since, kind of. It's actually stopped today, but there's been some flooding. There's been people dying. Uh, it was like 20 people in, Osa in Hiroshima. Okayama is flooded. We ha we don't we haven't had the worst of it here, which I'm glad of. the 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 Kamogawa River is a lot higher than it used to be. Uh, you know, it, but yeah, it's uh, it's rain and rain. Hallelujah! No, hallelujah. Yeah. So I'm back in Kyoto. Gonna start school on Monday tomorrow. So yeah.